If you're using the Game Boy Color with headphones, you'll probably notice a distinct hum or distortion in the background that sounds sort of like this. Now I found a way to dumb down or remove that hum altogether, especially in the musical parts. Here it is right here. So the first thing you're going to want to do with the Game Boy is remove the batteries. <laughs> Quite obviously, actually. If you already have them in. And if you have a game in, you're going to want to also remove that game. So this was the sample game, if you're wondering, that I used to do the audio. That was just the introduction. And now you're going to need a tri-wing screwdriver. So this is basic. Uh, it's pretty much basic for Nintendo type of stuff. They have a little Y-shaped screw in there. And uh, they're only about a dollar. You can get them on eBay, etc., etc. And there is about six of them here, here, and here. So I'm going to go ahead and take those out. Now you can go ahead and separate the two shells, the front and the back, from each other, sort of like so. Making sure not to lose any of those screws. And it's a little bit tricky, it feels kind of stiff when you first take it off. And you can go ahead and set it aside, I recommend putting a holder such as this. Put screws in anything really, it's just like a bucket shape. So now that we're on the inside, what we're going to look specifically at are these two resistors right here. And now this one's EM2, and this one's EM3. And these two basically are for the left and right on our little headphone jack right there. And so we're going to actually remove these two, so desolder them. And uh, you don't really have to hold on to them once you've removed them, but uh, I'm going to just in case. And um, then from up there, the next step is we're going to go over to this headphone dial, which you probably are familiar with, it's the volume, and we're going to solder on to, to pin 2 and pin 3, and I'll show you what to do from there. So first up, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and desolder these two right here. If I absolutely fail at doing it on camera, I'll just cut it out. Alright, so there you go. Now I've taken out those two little resistors right there, you can see. And uh, I always recommend when you're removing something to always use a flathead screwdriver kind of bit when you're uh, desoldering something. Otherwise, if you've got like a solder sucker or something, that always works too. Anyways, now what we're going to focus on is I've got some wire right here, and we're going to actually run two up here. So we're going to go to pins two and three, and I'll show you where to take those. But first, I'm going to have to switch out something that's a little more usable. Alright, so here we are at this volume wheel, like I mentioned before. And here's pin 2 and 3, which we're going to solder to, and 2 is left audio, and 3 is actually right. So, while I was waiting for the soldering iron to cool down, uh, I went ahead and cut two wires uh, for pretty good length, because we're actually going to run these from here onto the underside and to our little um, audio jack right here, because the speaker isn't really a big worry, because you don't really hear the hum, it's only when you have headphones on. Anyways, let's go ahead and get soldering that in. Alrighty, so as you can see, I've soldered those two wires up there, and I've removed the three screws from the back. So now I can go ahead and just lift up the Game Boy itself. The speaker is going to want to hold it down, and you can just remove that. And now we're going to actually run the wire underneath Ooh, it's a little hard to see, under the back, and solder them into these two points here, where the audio comes in. So, let's go ahead and do that. They're actually number two and three, so you really can't screw it up <laughs> if you forget which one's left and right. Just remember one's two and one's three. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to run these wires along the back, and then solder it. Unfortunately, if you notice, I can't really film the soldering because my hands always get in the way, and it's just basically watching my hands. So I'll be right back. So here are two samples I recorded, this one before and this one after. So as you can see in the top one, the one I recorded before, the volume of the noise in the background is clearly higher. And although it's not gone, which is a little disappointing in the bottom one, it is at least dissipated to a point where it's not too irritating. And another thing that I noticed about the one after the modification was that the volume was actually much louder. Um, you can turn it up all the way, and it, it 
clipped, basically, <laughs> when I was recording it, because of the same volume level, not to be biased. And that's interesting for some reason, because the volume was lower here, but the noise levels were higher. The volume was higher here, but the noise level was more concentrated and lower. So, whatever. Um, <laughs> if you found this somewhat useful, thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you next time. Also, these audio files will be in the description, so if you want to listen to them yourself, test around, whatever, go ahead and download them. Thanks for sticking around. Have a good one.